One of the hidden secrets still today in the marketplace is the Franklin Half Dollar Series. And we're in 2024. It started in 1948. So we're talking about three quarters of a century ago. And it ended after only 16 years, the introduction of the Kennedy Half Dollar. Well, they made two basic types, the uncirculated and then the proof. And there are a few proofs that are just like, wow, when it comes to rarity. And the good news is, I got two of them to talk about tonight. So the proof series on the Franklin Half Dollar started in 1950. And the reason why that is two years removed is because the U.S. Mint didn't start making proof coins for the American public until that time. In 1948, there were no proof sets. Proof sets started as a topic in the year 1950. And over the years, it has become the number one collector set from the U.S. Mint every year. But the packaging is the reason why a lot of these older, beautiful coins are so scarce and high grade. Now, as you're noticing with the graphic in the upper left, the top in the red, it says the finest. Now, in today's market, we want to see that perfect 70 coin, right? There are no 70s for any of the Franklins. Any of them, even including the 1963, the last year of issue. None. So the highest grade is a 69. That's what these are. They are the best of the best. Now the reason why there are no 70s is today's hard plastic proof sets, i.e. the outside package is hard plastic, they were put in the, what they call poly packs back in 56 and 57. So the, the coin floated around in this little air bubble, and they shipped it to you in an actual envelope in the mail. Unless you bought multiples, and they put it in the box and sent it to you. So as a result, now, fast forward, give or take three quarters of a century later, there are no 70s because of the packaging. Today, because packaging is better, minting techniques are better, we have the ability to get that perfect coin. So perfect in Franklin proofs is a 69. That's just the story. And that's after 40 years of NGC doing what they do. 40 years and there hasn't been one. Now here are the numbers and they're outright staggering. Now in 1956, they made 669,000 proof sets and change. And 1957 was the first year they jumped to over a million. So think about that. In eight years, we went from zero proof set sales to 1.2 million. People love the opportunity of buying a proof coin, a proof coin set. And remember, proof is a method of manufacture. It's not a grade. What they do is they take the dies, the front and the back, they polish them. Then the piece of metal, whether it's the silver half dollar blank or the Lincoln cent copper blank, they polish it as well. A regular coin is struck once and then put into circulation. A proof polished, is then struck twice. Higher edge, beautiful flow, giving you the mirrored background as you see in all of these beautiful Philadelphia proofs. And again, remember, San Francisco didn't start making proof coins until 1968. So all these earlier proofs were Philadelphia, the main mint, and the technique was full mirror. Versus today, you get that contrast. But that's just techniques and technology changing over time. Here is the best part. Outright. How many versus how few. Right? I said 669,000. I said 1.2 million a few seconds ago. That's how many sets they made. We also showed you how they package these sets, which is why there are no 70s. Well, the other part of this is there's no 69s either. There are no 69s either. We're talking about 2,129. That's how many there are known for 1956. There are 1,051 for 57. Think about that. That is almost nothing compared to how many were made overall. For comparison's sake, let's look at a modern issue. If we look at the number one silver eagle of today, 
You hear me mention it often. 2019, San Francisco enhanced reverse proof. They made 30,000 coins. So very rare mintage, but in 70 condition, the finest known, there are just under 10,000 of them, and that's a $3,500 to $4,000 coin from only five years ago. The other rarity of the last five years was the 2020 V75, right? The first time a privy mark was put on a silver eagle, and that one, there were 75,000 coins made, right? And there's 16,700 of those known as of today. And so the percentages are much rarer on that one, but that's still over $1,000. Those are both coins in the last five years with today's techniques in the finest. Well, the finest at this time in history because of the way that package was put together. And it was a big improvement from where it started. Remember, in 1950 to 1955, there were coins in a flip and then put in a corrugated box. So this unique flow, this unique idea uh, of improving packaging helped. But still, it wasn't perfect. In 1968, again, that's when San Francisco took over. And the hard plastics made it a little bit better. But the technique in striking the coin is really part of it. And that didn't start happening until the late parts of the 80s, more so into the 1990s. And then obviously the techniques the last couple of decades here today. So there's 2,129. There's 1,051. What does that mean? Well, I referenced what the modern coins are selling for with significantly higher numbers. The competition has the 56 at 575. And they have the 57 at 495. Now, in my opinion, they're inverted because the 57 is much rarer than the 56. But they're both very, very special. Very, very rare. And look at the price tonight. We are under 300. It is a your choice opportunity, which means one or the other or both. But that is your choice. Guys, we got to put a 30 second clock up, please. Love this stuff. Thank you all for your patience. The phones have been very busy tonight. We always thank you for that. Remember, avccoins.com is always another alternative. But we're talking about three quarters of a century ago. We're talking about two of the finest, the finest known coins in proof for these two years in the Franklin series. P's, D's, and proofs. And we're talking about 2,129, 1,051, our price is hundreds under our competition. It's just special stuff. Give us a call.